Hey, welcome everybody. It's Merlin Dean here with SmartphoneNirvana.com. I'm going to do a real quick demo of the Maps app. First, I want to show you guys a quick little shortcut. This is the iPhone 6 Plus I have. So if you go ahead and tap the home button real quick with two uh, little taps, it'll bring down the top rows for you. Let me demo that again. Don't press the button, just barely tap it with your thumb, the home button down here. One, two, brings everything down for you. And then you can go ahead and tap the Maps app. And what I want to show you on the bottom right, this is just a real quick recap that I'm going to show you. It's an eye for inspector. Tap on that. And then what I want you to do is go to satellite. Tap right there on satellite. Now you're looking at yourself from space. Now up on top, you're going to see that search window. And when you tap your finger anywhere inside this search window, it's going to bring up the keyboard so you can ask it where to go ahead and search any city in the world. So I'm going to back it up here. So when I tap it, you can see the keyboard come up. So I tap inside the window. There's a keyboard. Now I'm going to put in Paris, France. You can put in New York. You can put in London, Denmark, anywhere in the world. So of course I'm going to put in Paris. Uh, je ne comprends rien. And I'm going to go all the way to Paris. Now, here's what I wanted to show you guys. A lot of people don't know about this. It's pretty amazing. See where it says right up on top, below the search window? 3D flyover tour of Paris. Start. So I'm going to back it up. Make sure you guys can see this. It's pretty amazing. Tap start. And watch what it does. It goes into a 3D tour. Make sure you hold the iPhone sideways, landscape mode like this. And look at the detail to this. It's too bad they don't put music to it. You can put music to it if you want to. You get to see the Eiffel Tower. It's got graphics. It does all the turns. Now, this is what your phone does manually as well. You can tell it where to go and what to do. So I'm going to go back here. And by the way, it goes through all these amazing locations all over Paris. you got to do this with all the cities. So you don't see the search window. You don't see that little eye right now. How do you bring it back? You just tap anywhere in the screen. Just tap it there. See how it came back? Now you can go ahead and you can tap end flyover tour at the bottom. Now I'm going to go back to the eye here and I'm going to hit hybrid. See the hybrid? A hybrid's amazing because what it is is that it shows you all the cool nightclubs and restaurants in the area. Even the government buildings and things of importance. But you see how they're color-coded? There's a little blue bubble right there. When I tap it, it tells me what it is. And if I tap that, it gives me the website, information, links. Go back to the map to the upper left. Now, up here, you tap again. Clear it out with that little X. And I'm going to tap in there. Brings up the keyboard. Now I'm going to put in New York City. You guys can do this with the city where you grew up in. You can do this anywhere you're going on vacation or if you wanted to see, you know, what it's like in a place where you're going to be calling a friend before you call them up. Now if you look, I'm zooming in right at the edge of Central Park. If you double tap one, two with your finger, it zooms in, or you can do it with the scissors motion like this. But remember, it turns, so you can go and rotate and everything else. Now, those colors is a traffic. I don't want to see it right now, so I'm going to go back down here to the inspector. Just go to satellite. Turn off the hybrid. And now that I'm zooming in, watch this. This is what you've got to show off to your family and friends if they don't know about it. Do a peace sign. Two fingers. Barely touch the screen and then lift up. One, two, three. Everything goes in 3D. You see that? And you can even turn, like if you're uncorking the screw of a bottle top. So you can go slide your fingers back down to flatten it. Slide your fingers up to go 3D. If you can't do that, there is a manual way of doing it, but this is the easiest way of doing it. So your 3D maps is amazing. You can go to most cities of the world. Some cities have security, police states, China, Israel, for security reasons, won't do 3D mapping. Some of our cities here in the United States don't have it, but most do, and it is absolutely amazing. It's like a helicopter ride when you go down here and zoom around. So have some fun with that. Remember, it's at the bottom right. Hit the I for inspector. 
you're going to go to satellite. So you can watch this video again if you need to. But right here in the middle, you'll see where it says show 2D map. So that's where you can manually go back and forth if you're confused. So I'm going to go back to the regular map now to standard. Tap standard. I'm going to zoom out. Now on the bottom left, you see that giant tomahawk arrow right there? That's your GPS finder. So if you're ever lost or you ever just want to come back to where you are, tap that arrow right here and it zooms in all the way to where you are. So up here in the upper right, you have your compass. So you tap that and it gives you a true north, south, east, and west. So the blue dot follows where you're driving. You're on your 3G or 4G LTE. And the red is bumper to bumper traffic. It's Los Angeles, so it's typical. As you zoom in, you can see even the street traffic comes up. So if you're on the freeway and you want to get off the freeway and see about getting next to the freeway here around the traffic, getting back on where it's light again, you can at least see what the other streets have going on. So make sure you check that out. So those are just some basics for the maps. If you actually want to utilize how to find something, it's really simple. Again, you just tap anywhere in the screen. See how the window comes up? Tap inside the window to bring up the keyboard. And here's where I can tap, you know, gas stations. Gas station. You'll see how the shortcut comes up. Tap it. And all the gas stations in my area where I am, they'll all come up. So if I'm running out of gas, that's how I can find a gas station. Again, you go back up here to the window, tap this little X if you want to exit out, tap inside to bring up the keyboard, and I can put Italian food. So if I want to eat at an Italian restaurant, I can just put in a generic term like Italian food, and now all the Italian restaurants come up. All right, so each one of these, as you tap these red bubbles, it'll tell you about the restaurant. So you can tap inside the bubbles here and it'll take you right to the website. It'll give you uh, previews of the menu as you scroll down. So you can see pictures of the food and you can read reviews from Yelp, which are brutally honest. So this will save you a lot of time and money, especially if you're traveling. Maria's Italian, great, great restaurant. So those are some quick shortcuts on the maps. I hope this has been helpful to you, especially for the effect of uh, traffic and the 3D maps. But the best way to use maps, which I still have to say, it's with Siri. And Siri, you just hold down the button. To bring it up, I wanna show you the little question mark. Right here on the bottom left-hand corner, you tap that question mark, and Siri gives you all the different ways that you can do commands with her. So, maps right here, you tap on maps, and you can see, Siri, give me directions home, give me directions to Yosemite or the nearest gas station or my dad's work, are we there yet, what's my next turn? See all these different things, it's just giving you examples, but a lot of people don't even use it. So what I'm going to do is go back to Siri here and just say a command and she'll show you on the maps. So here we go. Siri, I ran out of gas. Where's the nearest gas station? Here is what I found. So then you can tap inside and there's a map of the gas station. If you want to know how to get to the gas station, remember you just tap inside the window here. You can tap the car if you want to. And there's the directions turn by turn. So you can clear it on the upper left and you can start all over again just by going to the home button. So watch this one. Siri, I'm hungry. Where's the ne nearest Mexican restaurant? Here is what I found. So scroll up. There's a map. Tap the map. Takes you to it. You can zoom out, zoom in, tap inside the windows. Like I said, get information on the website of the restaurant or any type of business, nightclub, anywhere you want to go. It's the maps. All set up, but I highly recommend utilizing Siri for that. Siri, how do I get to the nearest Whole Foods market? Getting directions to Vine 39 Bar at Whole Foods Market. Now when you get out and you start walking to your car, you start driving, 
you're going to tap start right down here at the bottom. When you tap start, Starting you zoom in. Starting route to Vine 39 Bar at Whole Foods Market. Mm. Head south on Alonzo Avenue, then See? turn right onto Bessemer Street. That's what you need, is your final voice directions from Siri. You can get out of this Maps app. You see this blue stripe that shows that it's still working in Maps. So this has been what started as a short introduction for Maps, but as you can see, there's a lot going on with it and a lot of great stuff. I hope this has been very helpful. And uh, if you have any other questions, go ahead and go to my website at smartphonenirvana.com or you can watch this video one more time. Thanks a lot for watching.